Today, I'm going to be taking a first look at Kariki, which is a brand new front end for the Miu Mini. So what is Kariki and how is it different? If you've been looking at or buying retro handhelds over the past two years, then you've almost certainly come across Simple Menu. And that is essentially what Kariki is. Simple Menu for the Miu Mini. To get it, you'll need to go to this page, and I've left a link to it in the description below. To download it, click on the link to the latest release. There are installation instructions in both English and Spanish, and it might be a good idea to read those in case things change between me publishing this video and you downloading. Just click on the Kariki zip file to start the download, save the file to your computer, and once the download is finished, unzip it. Now that you've extracted the files, the next step is to get it onto a micro SD card. I'm using a new 64 gig card. It needs to be formatted as FAT32. And if you don't know how to do that, I've left another link below to help you out. So just drag and drop all the files you extracted onto your micro SD card. Now one way Kariki differs slightly from other distributions is that it already has the full structure in place. So if you wanted, you could copy your ROMs over to the card now. And remember to copy your BIOS files as well, because you'll need those for some systems. If you aren't sure of what file formats to copy over for the various systems, then I highly recommend checking out the wiki. You'll see a link to it near the top of the page. The menu down the side has links to what you will need and details what extensions work with each system, as well as what the various button presses and combinations are that are used. It's very comprehensive. So now it's time to try things out. So with your Mio Mini powered off, insert the micro SD card, power on, and wait for it to start up. You'll see the new Kariki splash screen. Once it's loaded, if you press the start button, you'll be taken to the Kariki options, where you can do things like change the theme. The system options work pretty much the same as Onion and Stock. Looking at the apps, you'll see that you've got options for changing the boot screen, file manager, GMU, as well as RetroArch. As far as the games that I copied across, everything plays fine. Now, as I said at the start of this video, this is very much a first look at Kariki. I need more time to dig into what it is capable of and find out what I like and don't like about it. Because at this point, I still need to work out how to do things like check out the options, display frames per second, and numerous other things I like to play around with. I'll be doing an update video that will be a fuller review of Kariki, but in the meantime, if you've got a spare micro SD card and are looking to try something different for your Mio Mini, then I definitely recommend giving this a try. And if you're looking for more about the Mio Mini and other things to try, then check out the playlist I have linked on the screen now.